बिस्मिल्लाजीम बसमीम अल्लाम डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई मोहम्मद इलियास लेक्चर इन बयालोजी कर्नल शेर खान के रेड कॉलेज सवाबी कॉडिली वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्टिव वीडियो ऑफ बयालोजी ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस इज योर न्यू टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ बयालोजी क्लास एलेवन खैबर पख्तनख्वा टेक्स बुक बोर्ड पेशावर Now, if you look into the table of contents, there are a total of thirteen chapters in this book, which are divided into three sections: section one, two, and three. Section one is related to cell biology or cytology, which comprises of the first four chapters. The first chapter is cell structure and function. As the name indicates, in this chapter we will study the detailed structure and function of a eukaryotic cell. and its organelles chapter 2 biological molecules the molecules which make the cell in this chapter we will study those molecules which make the cell and those biological molecules are classified into four major groups that are carbohydrates proteins lipids and nucleic acids chapter 3 enzymes you know enzymes are biological catalysts that catalyze speed of the rate of chemical reactions going on inside the living cell in order to keep it alive and functioning chapter 4 bioenergetics in this chapter we will study energy transformation inside the cell and those two energy transformation processes Uh, involve photosynthesis and respiration. Section two is biodiversity. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity simply means the variety of life, the variety of living organisms present on the earth surface. So in this section, we will study a variety of living things, starting right from the acellular life in chapter five, viruses. will move through the chapter number 6 prokaryotes are kingdom monera in the next chapter that is in chapter number 6 is chapter number 7 we will study two more kingdoms kingdom protists protista and kingdom fungi in chapter 8 we will study kingdom planty variety of plants and chapter 9 is related to kingdom animalia in which we will study a variety of animals both in invertebrates and vertebrates in section 3 we will study life processes or physiological processes first chapter that is chapter number 10 of this section is related to plants in which we will study various life processes taking place in plants such as nutrition in plants gaseous exchange in plants homeostasis in plants support in plants growth in plants etc while the last three chapters of this section are related to human biology in which we will study human digestive system and the process of digestion in humans circulatory system and of course in the last chapter immune system and immunity this is so this is a brief summary of the table of contents that there are a total of 13 chapters categorized into 3